I've always been an activist. Um, my work has always been social justice oriented and my teaching has always been about marginalized um, people. And I like programming, administrative work, but I also really like teaching and working with students and doing research. And though, so this position let me do all of those things and have and use all of those skills in one position. And so I, I went for the job and I was lucky and I got it. I'm Dr. Cynthia Duarte. I am originally from Los Angeles. I went to undergrad at UCLA. Uh, there I majored in sociology and Chicano Chicano studies was my minor. On a college campus, it's really important for a lot of different voices um, to be presented to students and faculty and staff at all times. Um, and so the CG, CEJ is one of those voices. Um, we have, we look at communities that um, may not have all the opportunities um, that they should have. We look at issues like climate change. Um, we take on all of these important questions and they're controversial. And I think that's also important. It's important to have a center, to have a place that brings these discussions that maybe don't have a clear answer or have a controversial bent to them and to have students engage with that. Um, and for a center to be devoted to seeing and making sure that these conversations happen on our campus um, is really important. Dia de los Muertos was a big dream of mine. So I have um, been, I've worked with self-help graphics and arts in Boyle Heights. I used to set, um, send interns there when I was um, a faculty at Notre Dame. And I just, to, I just love that. I just, I love that organization just as, as the, the legacy of, of the east side of LA, the art that they work that they've done. But one of the things that they did was back in the 70s is they really launched what we know Dia de los Muertos is today which is sort of the public displays, the looking at um, using Dia de los Muertos as a way to look at social justice issues. And, um, and so one of my dreams when I first got here was to have kind of, um, to mimic that event here on campus. And so uh, last year was the first year I just said, let's just do it. And we um, recruited classes, we recruited student groups to put up altars. We train them on what this vision was because it's not really sort of the it's not the traditional family altar or church altar that you see. It's it's a little bit different. It has that social justice spin to it. And I gotta say, we pulled it off last year and we doubled it this year. And so I'm super excited and proud of that program. 